Uh, what's going on guys? Uh, we are back with some more. Well, I've played this before on my channel, but this is going to be the official start of the series. This game series adapts the choices you make. The story is tailored by how you play. Once upon a time in New York City lived a community of fairy tale characters known as Fable Town. The fables arrived hundreds of years ago after they were exiled from their homelands. So called Glamour. They have protected their secret community from uh, Today again, if you missed it, a record for the date, hottest ever in June, uh, 103 now, that humidity looks low, but remember, the hotter the air is, the more moisture it can hold. So, 103 with 31% humidity is a lot more humid than, say, 73 with 31% humidity. And it is muggy out there. <laughs> I'm not sure if I have to Tenement building sometime after midnight. Mr. Toad? Shit. Big B! Listen, mate, I, I know I don't look human. It's a problem, I'll get it. I just stepped out the apartment for just a second to see what kind of damage this drunk shit is doing. Just cut me a break, yeah? I'll get me glamour first thing in the morning. Cross my arm. No need to kick up a fuss. I've heard enough of your excuses, Toad. This is unacceptable. If you can't afford to look human, you're going to the farm. It's as simple as that. You can't send me up to live with those animals. You know what I mean. Go see a witch. Get a glamour. Big B, they're bleeding me dry, mate. The quality of the spout goes down, but the rates keep climbing up. Do you have any idea how much it costs to have an entire family in glamour? I don't make the rules. Sorry. I can't give you a free pass on this, Toad. My hands are tied. Right, right. There's too much at stake. Whatever it costs, it's worth it. You don't. Want me catching you out of glamour again? Fuck you now! See? This is what I told you about, Sheriff. You're just gonna stand there, do something, Big B, before he completely tears up the place! I should probably go handle this. Yes, please. Thank you. Well, fuck it. I'm about to throw you in glamour. I'm about to throw you. are shaking again. What did I say? You want a big bad wolf to take you away? No. Then get that fuck back inside. Oh, it's Clementine. From the old Walking Dead series. You're gonna know who I fucking am, you hear me? Hey, look at me. Get 
as much information as possible. Take a look. Take a good look. You know who I am now? Hey, look at me. God damn you. No way. Oh, 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 hey, oh, hey. You've got something on your face. Fuck are you talking about, you stupid? <laughs> Kill you. All right, everyone. <gasps> oh shit. What are you gonna fucking do, huh? Get the fuck out of the way before you get the axe again. Woody, this is your last warning. If you keep on like this, I won't have any choice but to put you down. Put me down? You got a shit fucking memory, Wolf. That's not how it went last time. This isn't last time. Yeet. Oh shit! That head's strong. One, two. Police brutality is the way to go. Uh. Yeet. 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 Oh. Sorry. Yeet. You should probably get out of here. Look, I'm not leaving until I get what's mine. You're not getting shit, bitch. I'll fucking put you on the ground. Do you hear me? Oh, fucking shit. You bogged my god, you bastard. And still you talk. Fuck. Need to go. I can't go until this deadbeat pays me. For what? I let you slap me around for a while. You're lucky I'm not charging extra. Look, this is just the start of a shitty night for me. I just need the money he owes me, then I can go. Are you all right? I'm hunky dory. Thanks for asking. What's your name? Whatever you'd like it to be, handsome. Don't make Motherfucker. it more difficult than it has to be. Sorry, Sheriff. Wouldn't want to add any difficulty to your night. Why was he hitting you? He asked me if I recognized him, knew who he was. I said I didn't. He started beating on me. Then you showed up, started beating on him. That about cover it, hon? I'm the woodsman, you whore. I saved a little red riding hood from this monster. I cut this fucker open and filled his belly full of uh, stones and threw him in the fucking river. That's who the fuck I am, you stupid bitch. Shit. Ah, shit. 
Motherfuck my car. Hey, Toad. My car. Yeah. <clears throat> Give me a second. Oh, no, by all means. Take your time. Make yourself comfortable. So, uh, how good is your insurance? I can't be mad at you. I called you, and you come to help. I can't be mad. But even when you help, things end up more fucked than they started. Well, at least you're not fucking dead. Thanks. Don't mention it. I'm just getting what he owes me. You all right back there? I mean, your eyes and the teeth. You're not really supposed to do that, are you? Not if I can avoid it. Great. The guy's got an axe in his brain. He's not feeling that. It's more from you. He'll be. I'll kill you, you fucking bitch. Let me help you. <laughs> He's had enough. He's a fable. Son of a bitch can take plenty. Fuel addiction. Who do you work for, really? These lips are sealed. Sorry. Hey, you like my ribbon? Thank you. Feel like we've met before. We probably have. We all sort of knew each other at one point or another. But things change, I guess. I guess. And he's gone. Stop. We don't have to make any more of a thing out of it than it already is. Okay. I'm fine, really. Don't worry about me. How much was it he owed you? A hundred. I'm guessing bad for you to show up empty-handed I'll be fine let's see I've got uh, four, seven, eight, 
58. It's all I got, so it'll help, right? Take it. It's okay. I'll be fine. You've done enough, really. Just take the money, okay? You got me out of a bad situation back there. Thanks. I'm still gonna need a statement. I have to go drop off what I have. Meet me back at my office then. It's a little late for an office visit, Sheriff. I'll swing by your apartment. How do you know where I You live am? in the smallest apartment in the woodlands. Everyone knows that. Good to know. You should get cleaned up. You look like shit. And I don't use that term lightly. Some of these are pretty bad. I clean up okay. I'll believe it when I see it. <laughs> Hey, I need to tell you something. What is it? You're not as bad as everyone says you are. Yay, I got a kiss from a prostitute. Well. I just want to. <laughs> Tell Tev Games prevents. The Wolf Among Us. Yeah, it feels weird without um without music, but to avoid copyright, that's what I'll do. Um, I'm sorry, Eric. Episode one, faith. The Woodlands Luxury Apartments. Luxury Apartments? I wish they wouldn't advertise that. disciplinarian. Come on out. All right, all right. Beauty. It's older Clementine. Hello, Bigby. I wasn't expecting anyone. I know this looks a little odd. Why'd you hide when I walked up? Well, I didn't know who it was. You can't be too careful these days. No, you can't. Damn it, I'm late. How many more contacts, lady? Please, Bigby. Promise me you won't tell Beast you saw me. He worries too much as it is, and it would just make my life a lot easier. Look, whatever it is, it's between you and Beast. I'm staying out of it. I don't have time to go into it right now. I'll explain it all to you later. I will. But I have to go. It's 
not what you might be thinking. You wink? Hmm. Probably for the best. Still keeping our box? Been a while since I got any mail. Seventh day in a row. That's weird. Really asleep. Bigby, hey, wait up. Have you seen my wife? Have you seen Beauty? Nope. Haven't seen her. Oh. Okay. Sorry to bother you. Damn it. Something's going on. Buys apartment. Damn, should have cracked the window. Good to know. Probably a bad sign. Uh, oh, hey, Big B. I'm in your chair, huh? I've only got the one. So, yeah. Got a smoke?
Thanks. A couple thousand more of these will be even on that house you owe me. This has got to stop. You can't keep sneaking off the farm like this. The fresh air and sunshine pitch they sell you on is bullshit. I didn't escape out of the homelands to end up in some prison, okay? Don't send me back there, Bigby. You don't know what it's like, okay? You haven't been there. Don't be a pain in the ass. I'll tell you what I told Toad. And what's that? I can't give you a free pass. Lectured by the big bad wolf. He must have loved that. That for me? Nope. The house didn't blow itself down, Bigby. That's all I'm saying. Do with that what you will. Now, I'm not saying it's reason enough for me to have definitely been offered a drink, but, uh... It would have helped ease some of the pain you once caused me, yes. It also would have shown everyone how different you are now. That was all you were saying I'd be able to get some rest. I take it all back. This is why everyone hates you. It wasn't murder. I was hungry. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm hungry now. You don't see me tearing the flesh off of your bones. But you would if you could. Probably. <laughs> but, uh, no. Um, hate's the wrong word. They fear you more than anything. You ate a lot of people back in your day. I thought we were all supposed to have a fresh start here. I can't change the past. Well, you can't change people's memories either. Look, I'm not saying it's fair, but it's real. People are scared of you. I mean, look at your hands. Who'd you get in a fight with? A fable, right? I'm sure you're not going around punching Mondays. I was doing my job, believe it or not. Your job is to beat the shit out of fables? Sometimes I take them to the farm. Fuck you. You think my job is easy? You try keeping a bunch of fables from killing each other. How do you think this all works? I don't know. How? By being big and being bad. By being big and being bad. Don't say that shit in front of people. It's embarrassing. That's the attitude that gets you in trouble. I'm sure you were shitty to everyone you came across tonight. Mm, not everyone. Name one. Beauty. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Kept her from making a bad situation worse. Right. Yeah. That's real nice of you. Life is easier with friends, Bigby. And we live a long fucking time. I know you like this whole lone wolf thing you got going for yourself. But I've seen the way you look at snow, okay? You're not fooling me. Will you shut up? Well, maybe if my throat wasn't so parched, I wouldn't have to keep talking. Wait, that doesn't make Just sense. Just give me a drink, please. <laughs> Colin, enough <laughs> Jesus already. Christ. I haven't slept in two days. I went out a second-story window, and I want to get in two seconds of shut-eye before I... Look, if I give you this, will you let me sleep? Yeah, yeah, all right. Probably. Thanks, Bigby. Okay, so that's it for this episode. I uh, hope you all enjoyed it. Leave one in my back.